First question, why did I just go to France to visit Decathlon Sports? Second question, what is Decathlon Sports? It's the world's largest sporting goods retailer and I'll bet you've never heard of it. So I'm gonna walk you through what Decathlon Sports is, why you should be excited, and how it's finally arrived on the US market. <laughs> Now, with over 1,600 stores worldwide, Decathlon is in fact the world's largest sporting goods retailer. But you'd be forgiven, like me, for not knowing what it was, because until this spring, in April, Decathlon didn't open its first full store in the US, in San Francisco. Now, inside each Decathlon store, there's a range of products from backpacking to cycling to hiking to combat sports and everyday lifestyle apparel. But you're not going to recognize any of the brands inside those stores for one very important reason, and that reason alone will determine whether or not Decathlon falls on its face or completely reshapes the way Americans buy outdoor gear. What's that reason? Decathlon uses a vertically integrated business model. What does that mean? It means that everything from research and development through manufacturing all the way to sales and retail all falls under the Decathlon umbrella. They control all of it. And what that allows them to do is keep their prices very, very low. While that sounds nice, Americans have a difficult time separating cost from quality. But if there's one reason Decathlon might not need to be concerned, it's that for the last 40 years in Europe and across the world, people have become passionate followers of the brand. They love it. It's kind of like the way Trader Joe's has seen success in the US. People love it because it's so unique and different and affordable. Unique and different, kids. Unique and different. What kind of prices are we talking about? Well, waterproof hiking shoes that are 75 bucks a 40 to 60 liter expandable duffel that's 50 bucks, even an everyday backpack that's $4. Now, that leaves the question of quality, and while we haven't done extensive testing, I did try each of these out in France. For example, the Quechua hiking shoes, I hiked for about six miles through the Alps, walked through some streams. They did prove waterproof and they held up just fine. I had plenty of traction, pretty happy with them. I used the four claw duffel to travel transcontinental and stuffed this as full as I could. And so far, I think it's really bomber. Even these shorts, these running shorts that are 25 bucks are now becoming my favorite running shorts. As for the $4 backpack, well, at $4, I don't see how I could possibly be disappointed. Obviously, quality is king in Americans' minds, but one question remains, when they walk through a store, you're not going to recognize any of the brands you see. Again, that's because Decathlon is vertically integrated and owns all these unique brands. So for travel and backpacking, you have Four Claw. For hiking and general outdoors, you have Quechua. Running, you have Kalenji. So obviously people are gonna wonder if that translates to better quality given that they don't know the brands. But if we use that Trader Joe's example again, sometimes, People don't need to recognize the brand as long as they get the quality. And that might translate to Decathlon as well. As much as I like the gear I've tried so far, I'm not ready to say it's gonna take down Patagonia and the North Face. In time, it certainly has the potential to shake up American outdoor consumers' buying habits. And who knows, down the line, it may rival some of the biggest names in the US market. You ready to go out and buy some of this Decathlon gear? Well. Hold your horses. It wasn't until April of this year, 2019, that Decathlon opened its first full-fledged store, retail store in the US. So if you happen to live in and around San Fran, great. You already know what Decathlon has to offer, but if you're outside of California, don't fret. Decathlon.com, you can shop all this outdoor gear and see if anything piques your interest. In the meanwhile, we will start testing all this gear from these new brands under the Decathlon umbrella, review them, and let you know if in fact Decathlon has the value it claims to, and if you should look into it for your next outdoor adventure. Until then, I'm Adam Ruggiero for Gear Junkie.